So today we're going to have a look inside this Sanwa LCR 700 LCR meter. Um, it should be quite quick and simple, not expecting there to be a huge amount of stuff inside this. Um, I did have a look to see if I could find a tear down one of these already and I didn't, so I thought okay, let's, let's do one. Okay, let's get going. So, as a nice rubber holster, let's get rid of that. Um, tilted bail. Easily removed. Okay. Battery compartment. So it just takes a nine volt battery. So we do have a uh, proper threaded screw here going into proper metal inserts, not a self tap, which is good because of course this is just the battery cover so you would be expecting to be taking this off uh, regularly. This is just the cheap nasty battery it came with, this will be changed. These alkalines are not the best. Um, so you do notice inside here it actually does have a guard here to prevent the battery being inserted the wrong way round. You have this plastic sort of protrusions here around the positive terminal because of course the positive terminal on the battery is smaller than, than the negative so it will not go in the wrong way around. Okay. These seem to be going into metal inserts. I can see down there metal inserts, another screw here. Ah, so this one is just in the plastic. I wonder why those two have inserts and this one does not. There we are. There we are, we are in. So no connections to the back cover, no, no, no wires anyway. Um, we do have a piezo, so the battery connections just pass through the plastic and then we just have the spring connections here through to the, uh, the little piezo. And you can see on here the, where the infrared uh, PC connection goes. It's certainly a very sparse board, very little on there. Um, so what we'll do, we'll carry on, take this uh, board out. So we do have two boards, we have a board here for the um, jack connections that just appears to have one screw and a connector for each terminal. There we are. So that's that out of the way. So these four silver screws here, I'd imagine they're for the LCD screen, so I'll leave those alone. Um, but the black screws is probably what's holding this board in place. So let's start with those. It is actually a different screw to the uh, this board here. The screw for this is different to the screws for the main PCB. Okay. Various things falling out. We'll soon work out where they all went, but that's simply the enter button. 
Okay, there we are. Two springs for the piezo. All of that. That was nice and simple and straightforward, so I will include some high resolution photos of this so you can have a better look. So we'll just have a quick look at the chip here. That is an ES51920A. That actually is a dedicated LCR chip, basically. That's why there are so few components in here. Um, it's like an all-in-one solution. We have a bunch of um, resistors and capacitors. There's a crystal here. There's another crystal you can't quite see, just out of shot there. Um, so really, there's very little to this board. There is one trim pot. Um, but that is about all there is. There's very little there. Um, I will provide a link to the um, data sheet for that chip. But um, yeah, basically it is an all-in-one job. Just a few passives around that chip and stick it in a case and that's your meter.